Hi guys, it's Jess here again and I am here with James Riley, our Bishop for Les Miserables and today we'll be talking about the Bishop, a little bit about the Ensemble and a little bit about what it's like to be a part of Savoyards. So, you, you've just come from Nanda, yes. that's where you travel all that way for every single rehearsal. Yep. Um, well, what was it that drew you to Savoyards? Well, Les Mis. Uh, it's been a show that uh, I think I've had on a bucket list for a very long time. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess finding the right time, right company, and, and everything like that. And uh, I've just come off about a three year break from doing shows, so oh. it was time to get back into a show. I thought, why not Les Mis? <laughs> Are you pretty excited about the role of the bishop? Oh, I'm or? thrilled. Yeah. I actually, I auditioned with a principal audition um, for Javert, um, yeah. knowing that you know I'd get in if, if I had the chance to get into the ensemble, and uh, if I had the choice of what I wanted, it was the bishop. So I ended up getting that without even telling them that the bishop would have been the ensemble role that I wanted. So Excellent. that was that was awesome. Yeah. So do you have a favourite scene in the show? Oh, it's just so many. Prologue. Well, in the <laughs> prologue, yeah, that that's got to be one of my favourites. I do love the scenes with the bishop. Um, they're yeah. they're simple but so meaningful. Um, but oh, there's just so many good good uh, so many things to think about. Um, the suicide with Javert is is one of my favourites and stars. So Javert's um, pretty interesting character. So. Are there any elements that you're bringing to the character that? you feel like you can relate to or admire? Well, I sort of think the, the bishop himself, he's, uh, he's very generous, um, wants to help the people that are in need. And I mean, I find that in, in my life that um, if I see somebody that, that I know um, that's struggling, I want to be able to help them, you know, and I, I'll, in yeah. any way that I can. So um, I kind of feel that I've got that sort of connection with how things, uh, how they feel about things and all that. So. Being in the ensemble, mm. so you have like a few different parts like we all do throughout the show. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what that's like? <laughs> it's a bit of a mind boggle at times actually because you've got to realise, okay, well I've got to focus on this character here, but then try and find a way to create a whole different person um, or persona mm -hmm. character for these other scenes and there's not much time between some of them. So it's, um, you know, I, I feel that the characters that I have I look at it as a little bit of a roller coaster, yeah. Because uh, you know, I start off as the bishop in this role, a very humble sort of, um, in some ways, I think at times well off, but is giving away what he has to people in need, and then, you know, ending up as a beggar later on. I'm sort of crawling around on the floor, uh, begging <laughs> for money. So it's a bit up and down with with the way my characters move, which is kind of funny. I'm finding that a thrill because it's a challenge in itself um, to have that many um, different things. I'm used to, when I've done shows in the past, you have one character and that's what you get to focus on. You don't really get a chance to explore what else you can do within the same show. So um, that's that's what I'm excited about in the ensemble for this. And can you tell us a little bit about what it's like to work with the company Savoyards for the first time? I found it a thrill. Um, mm -hmm. It's so well, it's like a well-oiled machine. Um, mm -hmm. and just to see the dedication on so many different levels from so many different people um, in the background, up the front and all of that sort of stuff. It's just so fun to be around. And the, the characters that people are portraying, um, they're doing that with such passion. And it's so great to be a part of a group of people that show that, that much passion just in rehearsals itself. Thank you so much no for your time, time, James. And um, hopefully you keep enjoying rehearsals. Loving it already.